Welcome to Page, Arizona, and last week, if you missed it, we headed on Lake Powell on paddle boards to head to Lower Antelope Canyon, and this week, we're heading to Lower Antelope Canyon, Monument Valley, and a special surprise with Dixie's Lower Antelope Canyon Tours, their TCL all-day tour. Woke up early this morning for Dixie's Lower Antelope Canyon Tours. They have a new tour, the TLC Tour, which takes you not only to the Lower Antelope Canyon, but it also takes you to the Navajo National Monument, as well as you get lunch, and then you head to Monument Valley, which is one of those famous places that you need to see when you're in the area. So first up is the Lower Antelope Canyon Tour. We woke up at 5.30 in the morning to go to a 6 a.m. start time with Dixie's Lower Antelope Tours. And now I'm just excited to bring you along with me down to see the Lower Antelope Canyon. Hey, we say, uh, uh, like when we go to your friend's house, he goes, hey, let's chant, let's cruise. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> like that's the slang for us. So yeah. That's what the tour is called. So they call it TLC. Yeah. TLC Tours. <laughs> TLC? Yeah, that's why we named it that. And all that rock uh, simply was forming underneath the sand millions of years. Um, basically, the sand itself is like a big sponge and it's been absorbing water for millions of years and as it's been absorbing water it's slowly been rising higher and higher yeah so that's why you see on the sandstone rocks here that's why they're layered that's why they look like stacks of pancakes on top of each other evacuations they do happen but it, it could be for anything well like we've evacuated for sand oh, you know like a sandstone, sandstone can come through yeah. uh, so we've evacuated for that before when choosing between Lower and Upper Antelope Canyon, I highly suggest you go to the lower one because it's cheaper and larger. You'll probably recognize some famous photos, but my favorite part of the whole tour was that the guy knew exactly where to take the perfect photo. Also, it was fairly accessible. Don't worry, you don't need to rock climb up those. There's stairs. Before the actual pandemic, there used to be tons of people in here. Yeah, this like it was just over cool. full. Yeah. So now you guys actually get to experience the canyon when it's nice and empty. Don't worry, we still got plenty. We're not even halfway. We're not even halfway. Yeah. <laughs> I did not realize this was so big. Yeah, no one ever expects it to be uh, like this large, like, especially go to Upper Canyon. Antelope Canyon was formed by the erosion of Navajo sandstone due to the flash floods that occur here. So you need to be careful when down here because a little bit of rain could mean a lot of water. Meaning, watch the weather during monsoon season for flash floods. It looked like wind blowing that way. Exactly. Oh, wow. She's facing the right as her hair. Oh, it is. Finally, it was time to start heading out. Woo! This is that before even like our language was written down, yeah. it's all just stories. So the story goes is that a lady, a young girl, was uh, herding her sheep in this area. And uh, her sheep wandered off, one of them. She followed it and they eventually found the canyon oh. mm -hmm. uh, while searching for the sheep. All the way up here at Page, yeah. the Antelope Canyon right there. So basically we're going to now make our journey down all the way to where Shanto is. And we're going to get to this marketplace that's right in this uh, intersection here. Oh yeah. And then uh, we'll be heading up into this area here known as Navajo National Monument. Get a Navajo guide to go through Navajo Nation because our guide told us a lot about the oral tradition and history of his people. One example, like when you start talking about um, particular things about plants. Oh, okay. There are certain stories that if you talk about the plants at the wrong time of the year, they won't bloom. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean? Like, for some reason, it's just what they say. Like He also addressed the rising concern of the lower water levels of Lake Powell and the effect on Page. I'm warning the U.S. that if you build a dam, if you block this waterway, the rain, oh, okay. um, so, again, it just sounds very vague. There's no real explanation. Yeah. So they were just slowly we've been getting less and less rain. Yeah. Now, the science behind it is that because a large body of water now exists in an area that it's not supposed to, it causes a big upward motion of vapor, and that causes a bubble to form. And that bubble is what causes rain clouds to break apart. So rain literally goes around the region. Yeah, for a second stop, we arrived to Navajo National Monument. Um, but this right here is a sweat lodge. Um, in Navajo, it's known as Tache. Tache. We took the shorter trail, which is about a mile round trip, to get a view of the ruins. 
We just got to Navajo Monument and now we're heading to this epic viewpoint of some cliff dwellings. This is so amazing because honestly, if I didn't come on this Dixie Antelope tour, the TLC tour, I don't think I would have found this Navajo National Monument. It's definitely something that is a little bit off the beaten path, not your normal Monument Valley and the other national parks, but this is definitely something to remember. All right, let's get ready for the view. We're almost there. Wow. It had about 20 to 25 households. Wow. Now, I don't know if you can if you can see it very well, but on some of the walls in the background, there's carvings, there's like petroglyphs on the walls. Each one of those petroglyphs is a representation of the different clans uh, oh, wow. from the people that were in. Welcome to the Navajo National Monument. I'm here and there's actually some cliff dwellings here. You can actually hike down the canyon trail to be able to go really close to them. But for now, we are here at this beautiful overlook where you can see not only the cliff dwellings here, but this amazing view over my shoulder. This is definitely a spot where, I don't know, I haven't seen many people come to, but it is so unique and interesting seeing these cliff dwellings in this valley. This is all located on Navajo land. Our guides are Navajo teaching us about the stories of the people as well as the places we visit. I'm very glad that I came on this tour because I'm learning more than if I just have come here on my own and see it. I'm getting more of a personal touch to the tour of the people that live here and call this place home. Uh, because like we mentioned, you know, when we when someone passes, we believe in getting rid of everything. Well, then how do they bury people? Do you bury people because you said you don't like cremation? Yeah, we bury them. Uh, yeah. We get well, we get rid, of, get rid of all their possessions first and then we bury, we bury them. After seeing some fossils, it was time to head to our penultimate stop, Monument Valley. A hand trembler is how is the person you go to see to determine what's going on with you. Okay. Like if you feel like you're being which you know, if you feel like someone is working you yeah. to try to, you know, make bad things happen to you. A lot of times a hand trembler can find what that is. Oh all right. well these are beautiful rocks here. Yeah, so they are. Before starting our tour in Monument Valley, we headed to Goulding's Restaurant and Lodge to try some local Navajo cuisine. I had been looking forward to try some Navajo tacos. Just made the dough by hand. We still make it by hand. And uh, and then they roll it out and cook it and fry it. And that's all it is. Just finished eating at Goulding's Restaurant and now we're heading out to check out the Monument Valley. So after lunch at Golding Restaurant. We're now heading to see these Hogan's and take a tour of Monument Valley after the National Monument and everything. This is definitely a great way and crowning piece to the experience. Are you guys with, uh, you got brought down here? Yes. Can you join us? With, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, come on in. Hi. Hey. Hello. We met up with our tour in a female Hogan where we learned all about the difference between the male and female Hogan as well as a female ceremony that happens at their coming of age. There's actually a $20 entrance fee to go into Monument Valley but because we were there with TCL tour we didn't have to pay an extra entrance fee and just headed right in. It is Navajo land so you had to respect the Navajo laws which required you to wear a mask. Also, having a guide was helpful because unless you have four wheel drive, be prepared for a bumpy ride. Welcome to Monument Valley, guys. I am here with Dixie Antelope Tours, and they have an all day tour, the TLC tour, that brings you here as well as the Navajo National Monument. And this is just so good because you get a more guided experience through some of these places with Navajo people that can explain to you their customs, their traditions, and the history about these million year rocks you see in the formations, as well as the people that live around them and call them home. 
but this is one of the famous Western movie settings that you see as well as in modern films as well like Transformers and others but this is definitely one of the most beautiful spots that I've seen in Monument Valley and I'm really excited to show you them as well. I'm, I've been waiting to see this place and I'm so glad that I'm finally here. People come near and far to see where their favorite western movies have been filmed and they even come to take a picture on this rock with a horse because of it. No limit to what we can do. I heard so many stories from our guide about John Wayne and his tales of him on the reservation. To be well known on this part of the reservation because of that. <laughs> I think he went to a couple squad dances from what I hear too. Oh, yeah. Nice! <laughs> Dancing around while he was like this a little bit. <laughs> While we were there only for the day, we were able to see that there were some tiny home cabins that you could probably stay at and have an epic view of Monument Valley. This is probably one of the most famous examples of an American West landscape located in the Navajo Nation. On the border of Arizona and Utah, Monument Valley is something you need to see. And these sandstone butts towering a thousand feet are definitely monumental. It's finished in Monument Valley. It was time to take the two hour drive back to Page just in time for sunset at Horseshoe Bend. Be forewarned that the charge to enter Horseshoe Bend is $10 per vehicle. Let me know in the comments if you think you walk in for free if you don't drive there. Uh, so it's after a long day with Dixie, Lori and Love Canyon Taurus and going to the Navajo National Monument and Monument Valley as well as the Lower Antelope Canyon. I'm finally at Horseshoe Bend. Well, not finally. I have about a mile walk, I think it is, or half a mile each way. But trying to catch the sunset, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty one. Let's go. My tip is stay after sunset to have less of a crowd and to enjoy it. Watch the sunset at Horseshoe Bend. Check. This has been on my bucket list for a while, and finally I was able to make it here and make it here with my mom. <laughs> but for now, this is our last night in Page before we head up to Zion tomorrow. So I'm very excited for that, but sunset here is definitely well worth it. If that's your only time you can come, some people say midday is better because the light is shining on the sun. The sun is shining on the Horseshoe Bend, but this is also equally beautiful, and I am so glad that I decided to come tonight, even though I was really dead tired, but we made it. Be sure to enjoy and don't go too close to the edge. Your mom might yell at you. I'm gonna get up before my mom starts yelling at me. <laughs> you sure? Because honestly, dangling a thousand something feet in the air isn't worth the Instagram shot. After an amazing day with Dixie's Lower Antelope Canyon Tours, it was time the next morning to head out of Paige. Well, I'm just about to say bye to Paige and head over into Utah finally, but Paige was amazing. I had a great time with the Hyatt Place with Dixie tours and everything was just amazing. Now we're just heading across this bridge and then into Utah. So let's go and see what adventure awaits us there. If you like what you saw, then please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you are aware of the next video in this series from my road trip from Florida to Utah. Also, let me know if you have any questions of doing the TCL tour with Dixie's Lower Antelope Canyon, as well as what to see and do in Page, Arizona.